Hi, Wes Scott from LifeBack Law Firm. Today we're going to talk about how can I protect my assets in bankruptcy by Dr. James Jensen Kowski, uh, a lawyer here, a rock star at LifeBack. Uh, Dr. Jensen Kowski is a wonderful lawyer, a wonderful human being. Um, and this blog is about how can I protect my assets in bankruptcy. And one of the ways, of course, we do that is by utilizing what we call exemptions. Um, whether we're using state or federal exemptions, our congressmen and women have enacted laws to protect your assets in the event you file bankruptcy. And, and the reason why they did that, right? You say, well, why would they do that? You know, I mean, if you file bankruptcy, is, shouldn't you lose all your stuff? Well, if you think that through, you file a bankruptcy, you lose all your stuff, clothing, furnishings, house, pensions, you'd be out in the street. And then you're gonna go down to the county and you're gonna want assistance. And then the county's gonna to look to the state and say, hey, we got all these people wanting assistance, you need to help us. So, you know, the policy behind this is we don't want, I mean, the whole idea of bankruptcy is to give you a fresh start, not to knock you into the ground. Uh, and you give people a fresh start by, by enacting exemptions. And of course, the other thing is, again, the social policy behind this is we don't want people going to the government to, to, to get help. Um, we, and so to prohibit that from ha happening, there's sort of a baseline of exemptions that legislators say, you know, this is what you should be able to protect when you file a bankruptcy. And that's what exemptions are about. You know, most people don't lose anything when they file bankruptcy. Some people do. Um, but exemptions are extensive and a good lawyer can help you figure out which ones to use when the time is right. When you are ready to get your life back, reach out to Lifeback Law Firm. You're going to be so thankful you did.